Welcome to the Secrets Women Keep podcast. I am your secret keeper and confidant, Lauren White. I'm a qualified counsellor and sexologist, facilitator of all things turn on, author of permission, and a witty, highly intuitive lounge room dancing introvert. I help you as an exceptional woman in entrepreneurship to see, love, and trust all the parts of yourself, especially the unseen. Let's pull back the curtain, light the candelabra, and lift the veil. These are the secrets women keep. Hello, and welcome to The Secrets Women Keep. I am your host and confidant, Lauren White, and today I am feeling so juiced up to talk to you about charging five figures and beyond in your business. This is a topic that's very close to my loins (laughs) and one that totally turns me on when I work with my business mentoring clients. And now I'm going to share some of those secrets with you. This, none of what I'm about to share should be a secret, but I find that it can be challenging to find some of this kind of information in one condensed little package, one condensed space, one condensed podcast. So I'm here to serve. I'm here to deliver the goods. I'm here to help you get really activated for moving beyond the small, low-end prices, which have their place and have their time. If, though, charging five figures and beyond turns you on, I want you to keep listening. This is for the women with businesses. This is for the women who are in service-based businesses and those running businesses as sole traders. I want you to walk away from this episode feeling really inspired to look at the drawing board of what you offer and to start to feel into how you can create more abundance in your business by really turning some select people on. Now, the good thing about this topic and what I've noticed with my clients, my business mentoring clients, is that it usually only takes a few tweaks to create a shift. So I want you to really hear that. When you learn the tweaks you can apply the same energetic principles over and over again. You'll notice that when you hit a certain level, you get comfortable there and then you might want to set a new goal again. Now, this isn't about setting new goals for the sake of setting new goals or money for the sake of money. What you'll be noticing is how you feel at the end of the energetic exchange of what you offer and the money that comes your way for that energy that you've provided or the energy that's been there to walk alongside your clients. So when you know it at the lower level, you can apply it as you keep going. So I'll do my best to share some of that with you today. Before I go into what my story is with charging premium prices, high-end prices, five figures and beyond, I want to share one of my favorite quotes about business. Sam Oven says, we don't have business problems. We have personal problems that show up in our business. I very much agree with Sam. We work on the personal stuff. We work on the principles of turn on, the principles of sovereignty, the principles of magnetism, the principles of alignment, and we get your energy clear in your personal self, in your self-worth, and then you've got a much better chance, you're in a, you're much better positioned to have everything line up in your business. Get good with yourself first, get good with your personal problems, address them as best you can, and 
you'll notice an increased level of clarity in your business. You can do both at once. You can work on your business and work on yourself at the same time. In fact, I have a client that's actually doing that with me. She's doing both. (laughs) And what's so beautiful about that is that we can see the mirrors between the two and how her clarity in herself and her personal life and how she manages her energy and she manages her level of responsiveness and sovereignty can then be directly applied into her business. So the approach that we take when you're my business mentoring client is energy first, strategy second. It is too easy to see what other people are doing and to delve into copying their strategy when you haven't already got the energy for it. What's going to happen is it's going to flop. It's going to bomb. And I know this too well. I am speaking from experience. I have an excellent track record of strategy second and I'll work out the energy piece later. (laughs) I have a very good track record of that. Really good news is that the more I mature, the more I know myself, the more I value myself and know my worth and know what I'm really incredibly good at, the less I do the spaghetti at the wall. I'll just do a strategy and I'll work out the energy or how I'm going to make it work later. Um, it can work, by the way. It can. You can be a total maverick, <laughs> a total magician, and it can work. Um, so it's not to say that it won't work. I believe you've got a better chance of the strategy really working, taking hold, turning on yourself and your potential clients when you're in a really good place with your energy and you take that into consideration before every post, before every email, before every interaction. I would love to share with you my story of charging premium prices and beyond. It all started, I digged around with the, I don't know, $120 sessions. The, I had my time with the packages that were around the $7.95 mark for four sessions or however many sessions I did. I really liked the package approach. I'd been doing that for years, but I still wasn't at that premium level with it. And what you'll notice is you'll get objections along every step of the way. I'll never forget a phone call when I was back from maternity leave with after my first daughter. And she goes on the phone, (laughs) she says, this potential client that didn't come through, you're really expensive. And it's like, oh, am I? (laughs) And then, you know, being as tender as I was, I went into a position of justifying and there will always be objections. People at every level will think you're expensive. Um, People will think it's too much. People will think it's overpriced. That's just a fact. They're not going to be the ones that come through that pay you what it is that you're worth because they're not the right energetic match for you. So if you've had a no recently from someone who says you're too much when your sessions are $70, $100, $200, um, whatever, it's it's always going to happen and that's okay. What I like about premium prices and my experience with it is you are more at ease with the people that say no the more that you charge it because you know that even if they did come through and could like scrape the money together or borrow it or find some way of doing it, that they're probably going to be trying in that process, trying to extract every single bit of your juice because they want to get their money's worth out of what they're doing. Truly premium clients don't do that. They come to you from a place of trust because they've been in these kinds of positions before where they recognize things as an investment and they don't sweat every dollar. They just don't. It's like you could share one powerful thing with them over Messenger and they'll be like, that's why I'm in this for. I just got so much value from that. And that value doesn't even have a dollar, doesn't even have a price on it. So people will say no to you. People have said no to me. (laughs) 
a lot and it doesn't change my sense of worth or my sense of value. I always go into it with trust and say, um, and say to myself, I trust that someone else is going to come through after that no. And more often than not, that happens. And that person that comes through is so exceptional. I'm like, oh, thank God for you. You're who I'm waiting for. It was worth not getting the money in the short term to get the, to really have that feeling of wholehearted abundance in the medium term, if that makes sense. So it can require some waiting, but remember you're charging premium. So that waiting is worth it because the investment is at a higher rate and you're not waiting for a hundred dollars at a time or two hundred dollars at a time. And when I say premium, I'm talking charging in the thousands. And I feel like this is best done kind of incrementally. Other people might have other approaches, but I feel like if you leap too quickly um, from a hundred dollars to a five thousand dollar package or a ten thousand dollar package, um if you're if you haven't calibrated to that and receiving that level of abundance in your life, it might show up um, in the way that you talk to your potential clients. People can feel alignment and they can feel what's out of alignment. So incrementally over time, I've charged premium. I started in, I wouldn't say the $700 packages, the $995 packages, whatever they were, um, back in my maternity leave days were premium. I wouldn't say that. Um, I would say I really decided to go premium in, I want to say 2019. Yeah, 2019 when I started charging a thousand dollars a month. And, um, I gave women the option to pay up front for that. Um, some women would, some women would do the, um, would do the payment plan of a thousand dollars a month. And over time I have increased that. And now I'm charging in the five figures to work with me. That feels really aligned with me. Um, you might want to be selective and discerning about former clients coming back. Uh, I have done that for former clients, not charged in the five figures yet because I want to honor their journey and, um, their loyalty. Um, in saying that, you make it feel right for you. And that's the benefit of not advertising your premium prices is that you can be selective about people that come through and what it is that you want to serve them at, what feels clean, whether you want to not give them the whole entire package of all your energy and attention, but give them a smaller one. It's up to you. I've done all sorts of things um, in order to honor people where they're at, because it feels abundant to do so. So you can be, you have choice, especially when you don't advertise your investment. And when you don't advertise your investment, this isn't to be sneaky or to you know, pull the wool over people's eyes or anything like that. But I've found that I have felt good about incrementally increasing my premium prices um, to that five figure mark and beyond with each and every call because I know what I serve and I know what the transformation is. So that's my story with premium prices. I love it. I love serving select women at that level. I like charging up front. I like paying up front. And that's usually what my clients do. So it's it's a like attracts like situation with the clients that come through in my work. And I am being so candid here, admitting that um, my prices show no signs of pausing, especially when it comes to the VIP day offerings that I am creating for women. And I have visions um, that I'm bringing into reality as soon as possible of charging around that 25k, 50k and beyond level of investment with the individuals that I will be working with. So there is my <laughs> accountability <laughs> in a podcast. It is happening. It is underway. And this really turns me on because I know what I deliver and I know the value of it. I know I am the best at what I do. Yeah. <laughs> 
Here are three things I want you to know and consider when it comes to up-leveling to charging premium. The first thing I want you to know is that charging premium and beyond is a decision, pure and simple. Only you can decide. Do not sit there on Instagram seeing other women's level of investments and sitting there getting jealous saying, why is no one paying me that? No one is paying you that because you haven't put an offer out there at that level. So rather than getting jealous, look at them and go, thank you for showing me another way. How can I decide this for myself? How can I claim this for myself? If you're dithering around with a hundred dollar price mark, with people not paying you on time, with people not paying you after service delivery, they are your key signs that something has got to change and that there is potential to move into the premium. And that is your own story with what you think people will pay. It's not fair. Which brings me to my second point. It is not fair that you, on your clients, that you think that you know what they'll pay and that you you assume what people will pay and how they will pay, that they can't afford it. Drop the, drop the judgment. Disengage from that. That's just a story. That is just a story. The first thing is you decide to charge premium and beyond and you create an offer that matches that energetically. And then you drop the thinking of what you think people will pay. It's really selfish when you do that. And you don't turn me on when you do that. You turn me off. I don't want to go to your business if you've already made assumptions about what I can afford and what I think your service is worth and you having a pity party about how you charge and the way that you charge. It's not a turn on for so many of us that want that level of support with someone who's energetically matched with what they charge. There's no sweeter sensation than investing in yourself at a premium level and beyond because you know you're worth it. And so you need to flip the script from what you think people will pay for you and see it as how they want to invest in themselves. Because that's what it is. I'm not paying you. I'm investing in myself. And it's the same for my clients. They're not paying me. They're investing in themselves. Such a turn on, such a different way of seeing things. It's them seeing, it's them believing in the transformation they're about to receive. Sexy stuff, right? Sexy stuff. There's like a sub point to the second point I want to make about you need, you needing to get out of assuming what people will pay. You need to become your ideal client first and pay what you want to charge. And then you're better positioned to attract your ideal clients. I stand by this one controversial. I think you need to pay what you want to charge and you need to be the perfect client in that exchange. And by perfect, I mean exceptional, exquisite. You don't dick around with the billing. You don't dick around with the invoice. You don't be hot and cold. You say yes. You do what you say you're going to do. You do it with integrity and you invest in yourself at that level. And guess what? People will not know how, but they will trust you at that level when you've invested in yourself at that level. So as I keep charge raising my prices, I keep raising how I invest in myself. I'm doing it in, I'm doing it in parallel. So be on the receiving end, become your ideal client and then approach your clients and tell them how it's going to go and tell them what you're expecting of them and how it's all going to play out and what they're going to receive and how they pay. That is a really important point. Don't get upset when people don't want to charge you at that premium level when you're not willing to do it for yourself. The third thing is the energetics of numbers are important. They just are. Like something my mentor Susie Ashworth says is, you know, money is neutral. And it's true, money is neutral. It doesn't really hold feelings about you, but you hold feelings and charge around it. So the energetics of numbers are important because they require your consideration and alignment. 
sit with the new numbers for a while before you go out proposing them. Write them down over and over. Journal out, my price for one-to-one is X amount for X amount of time. The exchange for my energy to hold people so that they transform is X. And write it out over and over and over again. They literally are just numbers. They are just numbers. When you bring it all back down, I mean, we've got so many stories and so many um, beliefs about money, but when you strip it all back, they are literally numbers. They're, They're numbers that have meaning. So you can make it really beautiful. Say the numbers out loud. You have to practice it. If you can't say the numbers, you cannot charge them. If you can't say it's $1,000 deposit and $9,000 via bank transfer payable within seven days, then you can't charge that. You need to be able to say, and for the VIP day, it's $25,000. Full stop. Not, is that okay? (laughs) Oh, but what do you think? (laughs) You have to say the numbers out loud and you have to get very comfortable with them. You need to live and breathe those numbers for a while to acclimatize to them, to be congruent with them. People smell incongruence. People know, they just know especially the clients that are already well accustomed to paying for things at the premium and above level, the elite level, the high net worth level. So write the numbers, say the numbers, practice it. It, They are just numbers and they will turn the right people on when you're in harmony with them. Really exciting stuff. So I'm just going to repeat those three tips that I have for you to up leveling to charging premium. Number one, charging premium and beyond is a decision that you make. Don't expect someone to just dump 10 grand in your bank account tomorrow out of sheer generosity. You need to ch- you need to charge those prices. Number two, get out of thinking of what you assume people will pay and become your ideal client first become your ideal client first, embody that, pay for something at a new level, and then you're better positioned to charge at that level. Number three, the energetics of numbers are important. They require your consideration. Write them out, say them out loud over and over and over. Put them in the fog, in your shower, whatever you need to do to just acclimatize to them and get really used to them, especially saying them. If you're getting on connection calls with people, you have to be able to say the numbers. I know that you are so worthy of charging five figures and beyond. I know that this will elevate you and your work. I also know that more comes up than what I have discussed today in this podcast. If there are things coming up for you that you want to address, if you want to become one of my one-to-one business mentoring clients that sees a meteoric rise in impact and income through the power of energy first, strategy second, send me a DM on Instagram And I'll let you know exactly what you need to do next to get my expertise infused into your service-based biz. This is your call to action to become your ideal client, to step into investing in yourself and your business at five figures and beyond so that you are much better primed to ask for those prices for yourself. Be prepared Everything is about to change and I cannot wait to see your business in total turn on. 